Okay. So I do it with my hands. I have something in my tooth, and so every time I hit it, that's because I ate a little bit of the dip. Hey guys, my name is Kaylee, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's recipe, we will be making my all-time favorite appetizer, easy buffalo chicken dip. So three reasons why I love this recipe is one, it's a total crowd pleaser. I never take this dish anywhere and come home with leftovers. Second reason is I love watching people eat it and enjoy it and then telling them that it's dairy-free and Whole30 approved buffalo chicken dip. And the third reason I love this recipe, it is so simple. You guys know I love my quick and simple dishes. You literally can make this in under 30 minutes and with absolutely zero fancy equipment is required, just your kitchen oven. So without further ado, go grab your apron and let's get to cooking. So there are three key components that make up this dish. Obviously our chicken and our buffalo sauce, and then we do have a ranch seasoning mix that I love to make at home. So to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and mixed together our ranch seasoning. Um, you can get all of the ingredients as well as the directions on how to do this in the description box below. It's super simple and you can just grab a mason jar or a bowl, add your spices into it, shake it up, and you'll have your ranch mix made. The next component is our chicken. So there's three ways that you can cook your chicken. One, if you're in a bind and a pinch for time, you can always get a rotisserie chicken from your store. One thing I want to point out is rotisserie chicken isn't always Whole30 approved. A lot of times they do have a um, dextrose or sugar component added to them um, for flavoring. So if you're doing Whole30, I would stay away from the store-bought rotisserie chicken, but it is a great little kitchen hack to incorporate if you're in a pinch for time. So one other way you can do chicken from scratch or making your chicken at home. So get two to three chicken breasts depending on how big they are and you can bake them in your oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes till they're fully cooked and you'll shred it up. Or the third and my favorite way to get your chicken ready is cooking it in your instant pot. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to cook your chicken in your instant pot. Literally you get your chicken from frozen to fully cooked in 15 minutes. So let's cook our chicken. To cook our chicken in our instant pot we are going to first add our chicken breast to the bottom of our instant pot. I like to trim any excess fat off of my chicken before I add it to my instant pot. Then we'll add just a half cup of water to ensure that the chicken does not dry out. And then we will take our ranch mix that we made and add just a tablespoon on top. Be sure to check out the description box for all of the recipe details. Place your lid on top of your Instant Pot and lock and seal in place and be sure that your steam valve is closed. Select your poultry option and allow your chicken to cook. Now that our chicken is cooked, I allowed it to cool for about 10 minutes before I shred it. You can always shred it with a fork or chop it up with a knife, but a really cool kitchen hack that I wanted to pass along is you can use a hand mixer to finely shred your chicken. Now that we have our chicken cooked and shredded, it's time to make our buffalo sauce. So this is the most important part of our buffalo chicken dip recipe. So traditionally, buffalo sauce has butter or butter extract in it. And I'm gonna teach you a simple way to make buffalo sauce that is dairy-free and tastes just like its traditional counterpart. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup of Frank's red hot sauce. Be sure to grab the red hot sauce and not the buffalo sauce. That's really important for this recipe. Then we're gonna take half a cup of white vinegar and add it to our cup of Frank's red hot sauce. And then the next thing is just to add our spices. There's just two spices. We're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of paprika and half a tablespoon of garlic powder. So we'll just take our whisk, whisk these together, and our sauce is ready. Now that we have our buffalo sauce ready, let's go ahead and assemble our chicken dip. So we're gonna add one cup of Whole30 approved mayonnaise. I'll add my favorite um, Whole30 approved mayonnaise below in the description box. Then after we add our mayonnaise in, we'll add two tablespoons of Whole30 approved ranch. 
A good brand to look for is Primal Kitchen. This is in no way sponsored by them, but that is just one that I have really loved. Then we'll take our homemade buffalo sauce and we will add it to our bowl. We're gonna be adding three fourths cup of buffalo sauce. And to finish off our dip, we're going to add just a tablespoon of our homemade ranch seasoning. So sprinkle that over the top and then we will mix this together. Now that we have all of our ingredients mixed together, it's time to bake our buffalo chicken dip. So I always like to use a nine inch pie dish, but if you have an eight by eight dish, that works just the same. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until it is bubbly. Our buffalo chicken dip has come out of the oven. I allowed it to cool for about 15 minutes, so we're gonna try this out in just a second. One way I really love to eat this dip is with some fresh vegetables. If I'm doing Whole30, I'll you know, chop up some cucumber, you can do celery, carrots, bell pepper, and I'll just dip it right in. It's also really great to serve on top of cauliflower rice. That is another way you can eat this. I did find at the grocery store some crackers today. They're actually uh, paleo friendly, and I will link them in the description box below. So let's take a minute and give this a try. Really good. I'm gonna get my husband Brad to come in here, it's a little spicy and try to, just so you guys know, I'm not being biased. Oh, what's oh, cutting your head off? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Like so it? Good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a recipe. I'll see you guys next Friday. Mm -hmm.